good morning students so last we started with the chapter adaptations in animals we have seen how there are different animals uh, distinguish upon the place where they live okay according to their habitat okay the place the environment they live in that is their habitat so according to their environment we named those animals like terrestrial animals arboreal animals aquatic animals right so now we are going to learn about the adaptations for food how the animals have adapted themselves even in their uh, way of eating food okay how they gain the energy from food by eating specific type of food hai na uh, if you have seen or if you have a pet you must have seen they don't eat like us isn't it they don't eat everything what the human beings eat so they are different and they are specific in their eating methods okay so a lion for example will not eat sabzi roti isn't it dal chawal he will not eat he will only eat flesh of other animals that too if you say you cook and give it then also they don't eat it they need raw flesh isn't it so in such uh, means okay depending on their habitat they are acclimatized to eat that thing also okay so according to the habitat they eat what is available there in plenty getting me so in this way through the years they have uh, adapted themselves now according to the adapt uh, food they eat they are differentiated as herbivores carnivores omnivores scavengers and parasites okay so today we are going to learn about all these terms what are they of obviously you have heard all these three right so let's once again go through it herbivorous animals are animals that eat the plants as their food energy for energy they eat the plants okay so those are called herbivores these animals have strong and broad teeth so that in the front so that they can chew the leaves and grass isn't it so their teeth are also adapted for that okay according to the food they eat their teeth are adapted so in herbivorous animals their front teeth are strong and broad so that they can bite off the leaves from the trees okay and strong chewing teeth with space in between them for grinding at the back at the back they are having very strong and with spaces in between so that they can chew it very nicely okay so for grinding grinding means piece na okay we grind in the mixer in the mixer grinder so these animals they chew their leaves their grass in the uh, back of their mouth that is having uh, broad and strong teeth which are having spaces in between so they can grind it properly okay chew it properly they are able to travel long distances with the help of their long and strong legs in search of food now for searching their food they have long and strong legs so that they can move very easily examples are deer giraffe elephant okay so these are the herbivorous animals which are uh, eating leaves or plants for their food okay beta so science in context plant products are rich in a substance called cellulose okay now plants are having uh, as you know that they prepare food in the in the form of starch so the substance called cellulose is also present there human beings cannot digest cellulose this cellulose is not 
digested by the human stomach okay most herbivores have microbes in their digestive tract that help them to digest cellulose so uh, we eat the plants for their starch okay but along with the starch they also have cellulose in them and this cellulose is not digested by human beings our stomach cannot process it cannot uh, eat that okay so what happens is this cellulose is just thrown away in us but since the animals like deer giraffe they eat mostly the leaves of the plants isn't it so this uh, uh, the leaves having cellulose they, they need a certain microorganism okay to digest that cellulose so the animals which are herbivores they do have this a uh, special microorganism in their stomach which will digest the cellulose for them okay so microorganisms are there in our intestines also okay so but for digesting cellulose they are having a special microorganism in their stomach okay beta in their digestive tract so next we move on to the carnivores now carnivores are the animals that eat only the flesh of other animals okay they will only eat the flesh of other animals they will kill other animals and eat they do not eat plants okay example lion tiger okay so animals that eat the flesh of other animals are called carnivores these animals have pointed sharp long and curved canines to tear the flesh of their prey now these animals have to tear open and eat the flesh okay so for that they have very pointed very sharp long okay canines canines are these okay बीच में आपके थोड़े फ्लैट होते हैं और एट द डिसाइड दैट देर आर ट्राइंगल शेप अ बिट पॉइंटेड वंस ओके दीज आर कॉल्ड कैनाइंस ओके सो दीज एनिमल्स हैव वेरी शार्प कैनाइंस सो दैट दे कैन इजीली टीयर द फ्लैश ऑफ अदर एनिमल्स ओके बेटा so carnivores chew the flesh and bones with the help of the broad and flat grinding teeth present at the back of their mouth for tearing open the front teeth are uh, useful after they have tore open uh, uh, tore the flesh they then uh, grind it or chew it properly with the help of broad and strong back teeth okay examples wolf tiger lion as i told you so this was about the carnivores next we have omnivores omnivores are the animals eating both plants as well as flesh of other animals example would be dog then uh, cat then uh, bear uh, also also yes there are crow sorry so crow so crow bear dogs cats okay they are all omnivores why they are omnivores they eat both okay so if you have a pet dog or pet cat you must have seen that they eat both things if you give them roti they will eat roti also and if uh, if you give, give them say uh, this uh, flesh okay that is also what they eat so the animals which eat both plants and animals are called as omnivores okay roti we get from wheat isn't it wheat we get from plants so